come in your face. What is up, Hot Wheel homies? It's Mark McHotwheel, aka Dotsman Diecast, aka I haven't been on YouTube very much lately. So uh, the, here's a package that I, I've been talking about Kato House, Kaido House. Kato, Kaido House, however you pronounce it. I am always saying it wrong. Uh, Kaido House is how you say it. Uh, I, I did a thing and uh, ordered some some new ones. And we're gonna we're gonna unbox them because I was just I just did a podcast about Kaido House, June Mai's line of Mini GT, and uh, I just couldn't help myself. I was just after I did the the podcast, I just went out and I I bought a couple. So got some five tens. So first thing you gotta do is take a look at it. So let's open this box up. These are sealed ones, hopefully. That's what I paid for. And let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. There's a blue one and a green wagon. I have decided, if you caught the podcast, I decided that I'm just gonna try to slim down of some of my Hot Wheel collection and buy some more of these Kato House Mini GT Dotson 510s by June Mai. And, you know, one of these days we're going to get June Mai on the podcast. And um, just a little FYI, we may, on the podcast, we may or may not be having somebody involved with this production um, that partners with this on the, the podcast. So, uh, exciting news. We are getting some really awesome folks in diecast on our uh, podcast so if you haven't checked our podcast out yet chuck i and david uh, the diecast media network diecast breakdown check it out we interview some awesome people customizers designers presidents of diecast uh, no presidents of any countries yet yet but uh, yeah, so check it out. Check us out. We're cool. We try to be. That doesn't always work out. Back to these Cato House cars here. So here is the boxes. For any of you who have never purchased one of these, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to buy one of these. These are the same price as or less as most RLC cars that you're going to um, really, really gonna let you down trying to get RLC cars. I, I've pretty much given up. I think the last one was the uh, was it the R34. After that one, I pretty much I pretty much decided I've given up. I'm not gonna redo next year. I sat there and I I clicked RLC button. It said added to cart. You're good. Check out. Put your card info in and go through the whole process just for it to say that it's sold out. So I'm pretty much over it. You know, for these cars and how high quality these are, I can just go online and hit the buy button whenever I want, and they just show up, my, show up at my house two days later. And the quality, the, the one of my favorite designers, June Mai, is, is making these cars. They're coming out like crazy. There's an R34 coming out. Uh, wide body Zs are coming out. So I'm just gonna start focusing on these cars a little bit more because of how awesome they are. So let's open us. Let's uh, let's open it up. Can't talk today. Just got off work, but these were at my doorstep when I got home. So pretty excited to, to crack one of these open. These are these are sealed. Give you another look. For anyone that hasn't seen my other videos on these, uh, the box is really cool. Uh, we've got the seal on the box. These pull out like that. See, so there's anything that I need to know about here. Is there any instructions? Uh, Age is 14 plus, so you have to be at least 14 years old to, to to open one of these, or else you can't. It's like the sword in the stone. You can't pull it out unless you're 14 years old. So don't even try. I can't open it. Does that mean I'm 14? Oh, just kidding. It's there it goes. All right. So I like I said, I I've always said that like. I just like how these 
I'm just gonna, I'll let you hear it. Just, ooh, nice. Let's take a look. So, no chase car. I'm always wondering about chases, whether I'll ever get one. They seem to be pretty, pretty rare. The chase cars are usually, generally like a brushed aluminum, but I'm not sure recently what they're doing for chases. And then we've got this thing ever so politely, I guess is the right word, in this little holder here. And if you look down here on the bottom, I'll get the light here. You can see that uh, kind of a mono, monochrome burnt, kind of looks like a burnt titanium. And this thing is so cool. I when the when I saw this blue one was coming out, blue is my favorite color. So of course I was stoked to see this. You can see from the top uh, portion that it's just a wide body, just a really cool car. The details on these things are nuts. Um, yeah, you've got some really, really deep dish wheels as you can see there. So very cool. We've got, I believe, yeah, your opening hood, little SR20 under there. Very cool, front is Gretty's written on it. So I'm always looking for, um, I have noticed there has been some quality control issues on these cars. Uh, let's see if I can, on this one, nothing major. I notice little things like we've got a little bit of paint missing right here. That's not fully done. Not that big of a deal. Um, the thing that I do notice is that uh, Kaido house right there is cut off a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of cut off. And then if you go to the back portion here, Kaido House is cut off a little bit. And then on the hood as well, we've got Kaido House. I, I don't have another one of my older cars, the first ones that came out available to look. What I'm assuming, I'm assuming they're not supposed to be. The, mules, the mirrors are pretty cool. They're actually like kind of a little bit of a rubber. So I thought I just broke it or it was dangling, but they've got some play to them. So I do, I really do appreciate that, that it's really pretty hard to break those. Inside it, we've got a roll cage, a gold roll cage, and we've got some pretty cool details inside. And you can see the roll cage is also in the back. So on this, you know, these things aren't always perfect. Um, they're newer. And, you know, I think Mini GT has pulled uh, some other cars off for production, uh, out of production for some quality control things. But when it comes to this car, I mean, if June Mai is watching this, give me your input. I'd love to pick your brain and, you know, just um, ask you whether these Kaido House uh, logos are supposed to be cut short because they are in this car. So let's take a look at this other one that I got, this kind of a, green uh, seafoam color and put this thing back in its carrier. Let's take a look at it. Again, apparently you've got to be 14 years old to open this or else you just can't open it. See if we've got a chase. I'm, I don't think I'm that lucky. Again. Nice. Okay. So no chase, which is fine. I'm, I'm never expecting one. Cause that, you know, when I order these cars, I expect, I pretty much expect to get the color. I'd almost be disappointed to not be able to get it, but I know I could always order another one and probably not get a chase. So yeah, same story on this one. Uh, very cool, the same car, but just a different color. Uh, we've got, again, I've got Kato houses cut off a little bit right there on the windshield and then also the hood. And like I said, I'll have to look. I'll have to look at my other cars and see see whether that's the same on the other ones or not. But regardless, those things to me are not a huge deal. Um, these things are about 24 bucks a piece, and high, they are high quality. Like I like to say, these things are really weighty, and they're just beautiful cars. Regardless, you know, you put it on the shelf, um, and this thing just sits so wide. So. These cool car, these two cars together are pretty sweet. 
So I will be getting every variation. Um, I'm looking to focus a little bit more on, on getting more of these. They've got the wide body Z's coming out, R34. I think it's a four door that's coming out. And then they've got like, I think they've got like a Chevy truck or like Silverado or something that I saw that's coming out too. So they're branching out to do, uh, Kaido House is getting some, some other cars done too. So pretty awesome. I'm stoked on these. i um, glad that I bought them. Some minor little things. Uh, like I said, I'm not paused. I'm not trying to dog on these cars at all. I just kind of look at these cars really closely when I get them. I look at all the, the decals and everything. So um, all in all, really awesome little cars. And I will, like I said, I'll be collecting more of these. Maybe I can get some chases. I think that would be cool. So I highly encourage you guys to check these cars out. Because if you like 510s, you like, um, you know, you like Hot Wheels, then, you know, especially if you like the, you know, the June Mai stuff, the, Ki the Kaido House stuff, like the Super Treasure Hunts and the lines that he's had, um, you know, just a zero on the side of there, then I would recommend, highly recommend getting one of these cars because they're awesome. Uh, you can get them at Dotson Garage, uh, com. They sell some Dotsons too. I know that they work directly uh, with uh, June Mai. Uh, you could also get them from Hewitt's uh, on his website for diecast as well for all you that are following Hewitt's. Um, I can put a link below on that as well. So all in all, very cool cars. Excited to add these to the collection. I want to have like a big collection and make like a little diorama and everything. I think that would be awesome. So I hope you all having a great day. I'm going to be doing a charity raffle soon. Uh, one portion of it will probably be for uh, Ukraine. I've got some cars from Joe's Rush Shop. He wanted me to get the money to, to Ukraine. And then we'll be doing um, Adrian at uh, Big A's Diecast. He sent me an RLC Batmobile that I'll be putting on Instagram. Hot Wheels 4, Hope. And we'll be probably doing that for St. Jude, Seattle Children's Hospital, or... Um, possibly something else I'm not sure so keeping uh, keep not keep in touch I'm gonna say uh, just stay tuned for that if you're not on uh, Instagram make sure to follow me on Hot Wheels for Hope dots and man diecast um, yeah check it out I'm on there uh, pretty frequently uh, right now but I hope to post some more videos here on uh, YouTube and we've got some pretty amazing stuff coming out on the diecast breakdown so Love you guys. God bless you all. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.